five it is, Chaser. Yeah, steady player. Definitely want to get rid of you. In the words of Captain Kirk, you can boldly get lost. <laughs> um, That's jolly decent of you. Uh, well, I think you might rue this decision. Let's see, here we go. John, for five grand, the chase is on. Good luck, here comes your first question. It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. Was a hit for Fun Boy 3 with what other group? A, Banana Rama, B, Smashing Pumpkins, C, The Cranberries. You've put Banana Rama. Yeah. You were a fan of Banana Rama, no. John? I was trying to hear this song in my head, and I, I definitely remember hearing it, but who it was, I don't know. Correct answer is. Yeah, Banana Rama, of course. Wow. Stay, yeah, step close home. Chase has put. Goes right, Banana Rama, no comment. Yeah, it was from the early 80s. The Fun Boy 3 was a spin off of three members of the specials. Right, oh, OK, yeah. Uh, here's your next question. Thank you. What rhyming slang nickname signifies the highest classification of academic degree? A, a Douglas, B, a Desmond, C, a Jeff. Oh. You've put a Jeff. Yeah, Jeff Hurst first. <laughs> Not really rhyming slang, though. No, they're making that up. <laughs> Correct answer is... Well plays, right, yes, get in. <laughs> Step close to home, Chase has put. That was right, but a Jeff. Yeah, a Douglas Hurd is a third, and a Desmond is a tutu. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Here's your next question. In Henry Williamson's book, Tarka the Otter lived on what river? A, Torridge, B, Dart, C, X. You've put Torridge. Don't even know where that is. I know where the Dart and the X are. Yeah, I've got a feeling it might be the X, which yeah, is south, south, south east. Dev, Dev way, in it. Yeah. Anyway, it's done. Correct answer is. Well played, wow. Torridge. Brilliant. Okay, step close. I'm Chaser's put. Uh, it goes wrong with the Dart. They're all very close together. Right. Yeah. Um, I haven't actually read it. Torridge. Don't forget, it's rhyming slang for porridge. <laughs> Here's your next question. In Greek mythology, Pandora traditionally carried evils, hard work and disease in what kind of vessel? A, can, B, jar, C, a Tupperware. You've put jar. It's got to be. So, yeah. Cans weren't about in them days. No, I wouldn't have thought so. No. And a Tupperware certainly wasn't invented then. Well, it was, but you couldn't rely on the Tupperware men to come round regularly for your parties. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer is... Well played, Jar, of course. Step close home. Chase has put... Goes right with Jar. Yeah, that would have been a lot harder if Box had been in there. Yeah. Um, because uh, it, the Box is what she opened and everything flew out. Yeah, mm. it did, yeah. We're one from home and we're four ahead, John. Yeah, don't tell me. <laughs> well, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get this question right. And you'd have had three goes at 30, 30 grand. 30 grand, yeah. Oh, well, still a V. Did tell you. You did indeed. Here's your next question. <sighs> Which gangster played banjo in the Alcatraz prison band in the 1930s? God. A, John Dillinger. B, Babyface Nelson. C, Al Capone. <laughs> You've put... Babyface Nelson. Yeah. I don't think it was Al Capone. Um, no. Between the other two, I really don't know. Correct answer is... To go through with five grand... It's Capone! Wow! No! Staying where you are, Chaser's put. She looks confident. Yeah, she does. Goes right with Capone, moves to within three. I didn't know between B and C. I knew it wasn't A because uh, he got shot in 1934. Oh, right. Here's your next question. We're still three ahead. <sighs> Psychology is the branch of anatomy that treats what bits of the body? A, the bony bits, B, the fleshy bits, C, the hairy bits. <laughs> You've put the fleshy bits. Yeah. When someone's put in a sarcophagus, I think they're embalmed in some way and... 
So I'm thinking about the flesh, yeah, that... about the actual main body. Yeah. To go yeah. through with five grand, correct answer is great. Logic. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, well played, John. Very good. Told you. Is that... <laughs> it's that area of expertise you've got, that sort of... What age are you, John? 67. I mean, you've got that breadth of knowledge. It's perfect for this game. Uh, Chaser. Yes, sarcophagus actually means flesh-eating, so it kind of consumes the body. Right. Yeah, brilliant. You are through. Well played. Great oh, job. Many thanks. Yeah, no, you're welcome, John. <laughs> Very good indeed, mate. <laughs>